Hello, good afternoon. I'm just going over your all all of your uh, final uh, uh, unit four uh, po posts here, and they all look pretty good. Um, and this just let you know what I thought about individually. You're one of the few classes that got most of you got uh, dual heating pretty much exactly correct in terms of what it was doing. Uh, most of you had, and this is the most common thing, uh, dual heating and uh, or, or ohmic heating is used primarily in the food industry. One of the applications uh, until I taught this class that I was completely unaware of was pasteurization, which I heard about forever from what, when I was a little kid, but I never even in any kind of schooling I heard about pasteurization. But I never really thought much about or heard much about how it was accomplished. So this is one application of that. Uh, the next one that uh, we talked about was superconductivity. Um, many of you had the, the uh, uh, MRI applications. Those are probably most common. Supercon superconductivity is not uh, required for uh, MRIs, but it certainly does help. So your awareness of that was uh, was noted, and you all did good on that. Uh, the last two were the uh, this applications of some portions of the EM spectrum. This is kind of like which one was your favorite, and that's kind of what I wanted you to do was pick one and amplify it. In most cases, you all did that, um, so that wasn't bad. Um, and then finally, just applications of magnetism. In general, magnetism has many applications, as many of you found out. You did really good with that, so keep up the good work, and uh, uh, we're moving on to Unit 5 next week. So everybody take care.